So you're getting ready to explant, or maybe you just did. If you are anything like me, knowing upfront what to expect for my surgery and what to expect after my surgery helps to alleviate so much unnecessary worry that I can place upon myself. Hey, it's Christina, the founder of Size Happy, BII Advocate, and the admin of the Facebook group Breast Implant Illness, Rejuvenation, and Education with Christina. In this video, I'm going to share with you what's normal, what you can expect to see and feel after your explant surgery, and when you can start doing things like detoxing and exercising. So let's not waste any more time and let's dive into what you can expect after your explant surgery. First thing is first, explanting is not the cure, it is simply step one in your healing journey. I've seen lots of women who are like six months post explant and they're like, you know, I'm still having these symptoms. After you explant, you might still experience some symptoms for six months up to a year, if not longer. Healing from breast implant illness and an explant surgery is a process. There will be ups and there will be downs. Trust that she's doing everything that she can as fast as she can to heal you, repair you, and cleanse you after explanting. The only thing you really need to worry about and do after your explant is to rest and relax. Healing requires a ton of energy, so be sure that you're not overdoing it. Ask for help and just soak in the self-care. A little tip, make sure you are eating enough protein because protein actually helps to accelerate wound healing and it's necessary to help your muscles rebuild and repair. So definitely up your protein. I would recommend anywhere from 1 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound that you weigh. Obviously, you'll want to stay hydrated. And if you love pineapple, get yourself some pineapple because pineapple has a compound in it called bromelain. And bromelain is amazing for reducing swelling and reducing bruising. If you don't like pineapple, that's okay. There is a supplement called Arnica, and I'll link it down below. But it has the compound bromelain in it, and it will help also with reducing bruising and swelling. After your explant surgery, you might notice that your face and your hair is a lot more oily. This happens to a lot of women. We don't know why, but it is very common. So if you think you might not shower for a couple days, I would definitely invest in some dry shampoo. Spitting stitches and rashes are also pretty common. They're very normal and they're very easy to treat. So if you do break out in a rash or you do have some spitting stitches, don't worry. Just bring it up to your explant surgeon's attention and he or she will be able to guide you in the right direction on how to treat it. I had spitting stitches and rashes I actually broke out in a big rash underneath my armpits right after surgery. I don't know what it was caused from, um, but it was the itchiest thing I've ever felt in my life. So, you know, just to keep the heads up that you can expect maybe some spitting stitches and some rashes, but don't worry, it's nothing to be alarmed and they're very easy to treat. So this one is very rare, but it does happen and it actually happened to me. There are lots of women who, after their explant, they get their period a little bit early. I actually wasn't supposed to get my period for about a week, but I got my period like a few hours after I got home after my surgery. So not only was I dealing with just being tired from my surgery and going through that, I now had my period on top of that. So again, it is very rare. Um, I actually brought it to my plastic surgeon's attention. It was like, have other women gotten their period like a little bit early or the day of their surgery? And he actually told me that it's pretty common and it does happen. Ever since this happened to me, like my periods have been fine, but for whatever reason, some of us do experience an early period after our explant surgery. So let's talk about seeing your breasts for the first time after you explant. There's gonna be some ladies in the group where they're like, oh my God, they look so good. And then there's the group that I was in. So I had dents and a wrinkle in my breast and they look kind of weird at first, but I do want to reassure you that your breasts are going to change month by month. Things will start to smooth out and settle, and you might even experience something that we call fluffing. And this is when your breasts seem to increase a little bit in a size. 
So if you don't experience fluffing, don't be disappointed. Just remember that we explanted to feel better. Fluffing is just a bonus. Detoxing is a hot topic in the BII community. We want to know what do we need to do to help our body get rid of these toxins and these chemicals that have been in there for years, right? So the thing with detoxing is that you want to wait four to six weeks to do any kind of detoxing, you know, supplements, teas, protocols, anything like that. I actually have a video here on YouTube called How to Detox the Right Way after explant surgery. So go check out that video. I'll actually link it below in the description area. But just to give you a little rundown, you wanna wait four to six weeks because you don't wanna interfere with your body's own healing capabilities after explanting. It could just really make things a little bit worse with your recovery. You wanna give your body the opportunity to do things on its own at its own pace. And if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with detoxing and how to do it, I do have a three month program. It's called the BII Bridge and it has a detox phase right after your explant. It will walk you out of your surgery step-by-step step, and there's a detox phase in there. So if you just feel like you need a little bit more guidance and hand-holding, definitely check that out. I will link it down below. And this brings me to the next topic, which is a detox flare or a flare up. So this happened to me and this is very common. So essentially what a detox flare is and what it feels like is, you know, we go through our explant surgery and we feel really good. We have a lot of energy and we're like, yes, right? Like all of our symptoms are gone. And then for some reason around like the four month mark, we have more brain fog, we're a lot more tired, we have headaches, joint pain, we just don't feel good and we're like, oh gosh, like what is going on? It's probably just a detox flare. It's very common. They last anywhere from like a couple days to a week and again, everybody's different. But you know, if you do experience something like this where you feel like you're kind of slipping back, that's completely normal. It shouldn't be too long lasting. And this is a time where I always say up your water, take your binders, just rest, listen to your body, move your body and eat very good. <laughs> Emotions, being emotional after explant. This also is very common. Women express that after their explant, they're emotional out of nowhere. They feel depressed, they're like crying. They're like, is this normal? What is going on? Nothing happened. I feel good. Like, why am I so emotional? So here's kind of what I think is happening. And I'll just use my own story as um, an example. But for years, I was in and out of doctors and I couldn't find answers to why I didn't feel good. And so with that comes a lot of worry, frustration, fear. You know, I'm just really scared overall. And when those emotions don't get expressed and released, they can get stuck in our body. They're called stored emotions. And so what I think happens is after our explant, we essentially kind of free up our energy centers and things just flow a lot more freely now that we don't have these kind of clogging things up. And so these emotions that were stored in our body just come up out of nowhere, ready to be expressed and released and processed. So if you do feel emotional, don't judge yourself. Don't try to push it aside or, you know, downplay it. Just really feel everything that you're feeling without question. Cry, scream, journal, whatever you need to do to process that feeling and then release it. Because when you do so, when you release those stored emotions and get them out of your energy centers, I believe that you really do facilitate so much more healing and peace within your body getting back into the gym after explanting. If you're anything like me, I couldn't wait to hear the words, you are clear to exercise for my surgeon after my surgery. And while I did embrace the rest and really enjoyed that phase of my healing journey, I was ready to get back into the gym. But you really should wait four to six weeks post explant to start anything upper body. And I would actually recommend waiting about three to four months to do anything chest isolating, like push-ups or presses, anything like that. Especially if you had your breast implants under the muscle or if you had any kind of muscle repair. I do have some videos here on my YouTube channel. One's about exercise safety. Another is some stretches that you can do. 
after your explant. Again, I would run all of this by your surgeon first and say, hey, can I start this video? But there's some really nice gentle stretches that you can do um, post breast surgeries. And then I also have some really good upper body um, exercises for you to do using very, very light weights. So really the only thing that you should be doing after your surgery is walking. About 10 minutes a day, couple times a day, you definitely wanna be walking and get up and about. Don't overdo it. Um, for me, I live in South Florida, so, and I got my surgery in August, it was too hot outside. So I would just literally walk around my couch for like 10 minutes, a couple times a day, really like a few times a day. And you wanna do this because it prevents blood clotting. So definitely don't overdo it. Just stick to walking. Make sure somebody's around you when you are walking as well. And then when you do get cleared to exercise, be sure that you do ease into everything. Take it very, very slow. And with all of this being said, with all these recommendations and everything, always follow your explant surgeon's advice. If they say something completely different than what I have said, definitely always follow their advice. They know what's best for you. So during this explant process, just rest, soak in the self-love, eat really good, be patient with your body, trust your body, trust in her that she's doing everything that she can to heal you because she is. She is on your side, she has always been on your side. And now you are giving her a fighting chance to fight for you and get you back to looking and feeling your best. And I put a bunch of resources down below in the description area. There's actually a blog called Post Explant Recovery Tips. And I had my explant surgeon work on it with me so that I got everything right. But it'll show you like when you can start picking up your child and driving and laying on your side and wearing a bra and going swimming and laying out in the sun, all of that. If you go down to the description area, there are additional resources in there and the video on massaging your breasts, on detoxing the right way, and all the exercise safety videos will be down in the description area below. So I hope that this was helpful. This isn't like to scare you or anything like that. These things that I did mention are pretty common on what to expect. Usually women say that their explant surgery was a lot easier than when they got the breast implants. So that's good news. And I would also just encourage you to have realistic expectations post explant. Definitely pray for the best and just know that your body is so much healthier without these breast implants, but don't put a timeline on when you think you should be feeling and looking amazing. Your body is doing all the work and just trust it and enjoy this process and congratulations. Before you go, please hit that subscribe button. Love you.